This is the Venetian complex in Macau. It is a hotel, an absolutely huge mall with a replica of the streets of Venice with its own canal and gondolas which you can actually take a gondola around, ride down the canals. Now at the centre of the, uh, the complex is uh, the, uh, the casino which is their main uh, attraction. Now I've just checked in and um, in order to get to my room I had to go through the casino. Now when you head towards the casino they, uh, they check your bags, if you've got any bags there they'll check your bag. Uh, as you can see, I'm, uh, I was about to walk through and the guy told me to go back and wait so they could check my bag. Now once you're inside, it is just absolutely buzzing with uh, people. Uh, I was uh, amazed. The first time I ever came here, I was like, oh my god, this place is insane. Uh, the, the amount of money that's dropped by the people here gambling is uh, just mind-blowing. Uh, I was at a table just watching majority of these games that I don't know how to play because they are quite um, targeted towards the Chinese uh, players so there's a lot of games which uh, are old Chinese games uh, these two guys probably in their early 20s walked up to a table dropped f about f about 5,000 uh, US dollars worth of chips rolled the dice lost and just went eh, and walked away uh, it's just mind-blowing the amount of money that's spent here there you can see the the Rolex uh, shop at the base uh, so I guess if you win you uh, you can buy yourself a Rolex uh, I was trying to find my way around to get to my room but it is like a maze in here and everything looks exactly the same so it's quite hard to find the exit there's actually no signs for the exit um, they want you to stay in here as long as possible uh, to gamble uh, I've, uh, I, I didn't do any gambling because most of the games I wouldn't know how to play and the games that I did know I was like nah no thank you so it's an amazing place just to walk around with now um, I was quite lucky to be able to film in here um, I was I was expecting any second now someone to come up to me and, and ask me to turn off my camera uh, the reason why they probably didn't is because the GoPro was actually uh, pinned to my backpack and uh, they didn't realize it it was on I think so um, I managed to get this uh, very short clip. Um, you can see most people here are not carrying any uh, backpacks or anything. And the only reason I was because I was going to my room. But uh, yeah, they don't let you film. If they, they do see you film, they'll actually come up to you and they'll, they'll throw you out and they'll make you make sure you delete your, uh, uh, the film that you've done. So yeah, I was surprised that I was able to film here. The a few security guards did actually uh, look at me while I was there but uh, I have made a full review of the uh, the hotel with the room and all the other com parts of the hotel which I'll upload later so I actually managed to find the exit uh, and uh, if you want to see that video stay tuned and I'll be posting in the next few weeks